What's up, everybody? The Unstable Cape here, and welcome back to the Gaming and Spade Podcast, Episode 9. I'm here again with Trooper. Yo. Alright, so it's been a while. It's been, like, what? Like, I think two weeks since the last podcast? It's been three yeah, pretty weeks. Pretty much. Yeah, it's been a little bit. So we got some things to talk about. Are you ready to get into, get into it, Trooper? Uh, yep. Alright, so the first the first topic, uh, what's your, uh, it's about Fortnite, what's your thoughts on the Metallica season, or the update? Uh, honestly, I really like it. Uh, from most of what I've seen, I have, of course, I haven't been able to play a lot. Uh, but from what I've seen thus far, uh, pretty much just the update and everything along those lines, it, it, actually pretty decent i have not seen that much like that many complaints about it or like anything along those lines uh the only thing i really see that's like a bit much i guess you could say um would probably be something like just the guitar mythic have you used it yet i've used it once but in my opinion it's it's a Bad. bit over Dude, I, I can't use it for the life for the life of me. Have you? I don't know if you've been on, but have you done the Metallica challenges where you have to hit players with it in cars? I haven't. I haven't done that one, but I have done the spray paint one. The spray paint oh. one, I didn't even know existed. Every time I just drove by a POI, it would have like a marker on it. Yeah, it's really. So. I, don't know, I don't know how I've really mixed with the mythic. I know it's like it's. It's all right for traversal, but hitting like opponents with it, like getting really precise, it's it's really hard on. It's really hard. Well, yeah, it is. I see people have just mostly been using it for uh, mobility, like transport. Yeah, mobility. So, yet again, I like. I wish I could like use it a tiny bit more genuinely. See, because like I said, I haven't been playing much. Uh, I wish I could sit down and like play it tiny or like use it a tiny bit more because I want to know if it actually like fully plays music while it's like while you're using the mythic. If so, that's actually a kind of good idea because you don't know what they might plan on in the future with like I'm trying to think with future collabs. I will say though, collabs nowadays regarding just music in general in Fortnite. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. Like, for example, the Metallica collab, I like the whole idea of, like, PvP music and all that. Oh, yeah, the, the new game mode? I have, to, I have to try that out. I mean, yeah, I'm fully willing to try that out. Um, try to think again. Uh, sorry, my, my brain's kind of went a little bit blank. Uh, right, you're good. But with this sort of thing, the PvP uh, mode for the music festival, I really like that idea. It's actually like one of the most innovative, in my opinion. Um, but yet again, with music collabs, they it's kind of like a mostly just a music pass thing. Oh, yeah, so, festival pass. Mm -hmm. uh, I was also curious, what's your thoughts on the festival pass? Uh, it's all right. We got four skins in the festival pass, so some people are thinking that we might end up getting Weezer. Weezer? Oh. Yeah, because there's four, <laughs> me cause four members. Uh. I don't know. I, I'm not really that. I'm not that big of a fan of Metallica, but I know I know a few songs from there. I was about to say at at first I thought you meant Charles. Like, what's it, what's it called? The guy from Jimmy Tron, Carl oh. Weezer. There you go. Oh, yeah. I also, Spawn, like at Spawn Island chains mm -hmm. as well. I have not noticed. <laughs> like, I I was like I played like two or three matches since the new update, but I myself have not seen a single thing change with Respawn Island. It's it's probably that subtle. Oh, did you get um? Mm -hmm. Speaking of, uh, I know yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't know. A few days ago, when the Metallica update went live it went down for some players so fortnite compensating gave us supercharged for a few rounds i don't know if you got that 
I think I did. Um, basically with, like, the whole supercharge thing, like, I, I kind of get it. But didn't they used to, like, every time servers went or something, they would give you, like, a random cosmetic they just had in their back pocket? Sometimes. Honestly, I would just prefer just a random cosmetic. It doesn't have to be, like, anything special. It could just be, like, a really shitty pickaxe. Or it could literally just be a spray. I'm fine with that either. But just for supercharge, which is, like, temporary and only for, like, maybe two or three matches, I I don't see that as real compensation. It was like a... I was playing with my friend when it happened. It was more like, I think like eight, like six to eight. I don't even know. It was like around like closer like to like six 10 to eight matches. hours. No, ten matches. About. Oh. And I mean, if you're, I mean, I play Bollamies a lot, so I was, I kind of, I kind of like capitalized on it and uh, was like optimal with it. As nerdy as that sounds. Honestly, I feel like that was a good time to do, like, rank, probably, during that time while some you, people you were... Still, you still gotta do rank. You have to get your little rank rewards. Oh, yeah, I know. Like I said, I haven't been able to. Yeah, that's fine. But, uh... Yeah, still with uh, Supercharged, it, it, it's, still, it's still nice to have, because, uh, well... Wait, how many weeks are we in the season now? We're in week three. I I was looking that up before we start before we started the before we started the recording. recording. We're on week three right now. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering because like, in all honesty, like I feel like it doesn't feel like it's been long. The season's no, just kind of like felt like the season's just kind of felt. I wouldn't say slow, but just more like. It, it's going at a steady pace. Another thing is that we also didn't get any new skins in the Metallica update, other than like the Metallica, the band members. We didn't get any new skins, so some people are thinking that we either have some encrypted skins, or we're not going to get any new skins for the next two weeks until the next update. Oh, that would kind of suck. Yeah. Thing is, is that with this, like, I understand the whole craze with skins and stuff. Like, I don't know how, like, I don't know how many, like, I don't know if people want constant skin updates. If so, I mean, isn't that, it, I'm not sure if I'm speaking out of term here, but isn't that a bit, like, high expecting, I guess you could say, to have, like, a skin come out every update? Well, we use well. We've had every single well, every single major update. We've had at least one, we least had like a few skins in the files. This is like one of the few. This is, I think this would be like one of like the very few times where like there was nothing. Unless of course they're all the skins are encrypted, but usually Fortnite doesn't really encrypt skins. Unless they're like probably collabs or like really high profile. My guess is that it's probably high profile if like they're if there are current encrypted skins. Um, thing is, is that... I'm trying to think. Because... If it's, like, certain skins that are supposed to come out into the battle, like, possibly the next battle pass or something along those lines, or if there's a huge collab coming up, they'll probably, of course, stay quiet about it. They're not gonna instantly leak it. Yeah. So... Watch you be a Justin Bieber collab. That won't, yeah, that will never happen. Maybe Fortnite was around in 20, <laughs> 2006 or something. Fortnite around... Wait, actually? Not, no, I was thinking a joke. Because that's, that's when he was, like, big back oh, then. Oh, ow. Sorry, I'm dense. But, um... But yeah, uh... Besides that, I genuinely think this collab was actually pretty decent for once. Yeah, it's finally a, uh, what was it, a festival, like, call out a festival music pass that I actually like, because what we've had Billie Eilish and Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, like, 
both like are the most wildest like honestly you know what this is actually a good question like if you were if you had a choice and who would be in a music festival uh like collab who would you want as a music festival collab um like popular or indie uh it, it can be either or um, there's a there's a few bands, Tame Impala, Easy Life, Thundercats. For more Thundercats, like, I can definitely see. For more bigger, I'd want um, want, I honestly, I mean, this is this is this this will never happen. I want Michael Jackson, not because of the music, not because mm -hmm. of the music, just because ever since I've played, ever since Fortnite came out, I've been wanting like a moonwalk emote. I've been wanting like emotes for that. Yeah, no offense, but. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that collabs ever gonna happen, especially the you know situation behind Michael Jackson. But um, it, I I can still see it being a huge thing. Um, trying to think. Uh, in my opinion, a good one uh, would be like revisits to like. Do you know those old like cartoon like like I wouldn't say trailer. Trying to think. You know those old. Tune, uh, like intro songs and everything, like for example, Sonic Underground and all that. Yeah, I really wish if they ever decide to like branch out to do collabs and that sort of thing, for example, a Sonic the Hedgehog collab, you know, they could always, you know, it would be nuts. But if they decide to go with a whole music route, they could easily use some of the old like musics from like the good old days. Kind of cool. So, yep, that or uh, Elton John. I want, yeah, I I wanted that. I had bought that. I'm so mad they didn't. They have, we do have that one Elton John song, but it's. Uh, the, but it was a mix. Brit it was a mixture Britney with I think like Britney version. Spears. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about like pure Elton John, like uh, what's it called? Yellow Brick Road. It's yeah, like Yellow Brick Road. Road. Trying to think. Closer, tiny dancer, the original one. Rocket mm -hmm. Man, Rocket Man's my favorite. Oh yeah, Rocket Man. Um, I think I was trying to think of another one. Do you like? Okay, I'm trying to think. Like a little kid. Uh, yeah, the I'm still standing song. There we go. I had to sing it real quick to fully get the name of the song in my head. But yeah, I'm still standing would also be a good one. But yeah, I, I think that's pretty, you know, decent collapse. You know? Yeah, anything, anything, anything else we should talk about for Fortnite? Not really much. Other than the Metallica, I don't think much. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's the new hookshot weapon, I think. Oh, yeah, I have a new meta for Yeah, right. the thing. I have a new meta now for the, for the game. So you know how I always I always land at the Nitro Dome, right? And the the girl, the, the boss drops the medallion that gives you infinite ammo. Mm -hmm. Well, the fucking what is it called? The hook shot, the harpoon thing. It does a hundred damage, and the reload the reload isn't like it's not it's not too slow. It. I mean, I don't like the reload of it. Uh, the reload of it is like, in my opinion, slow because it's supposed to be one bullet. It, it, okay, it's kind of like the flint knock, kind of. Kind of. I've just, just been using it as a makeshift. Bad. I've been using it as a makeshift sniper to just shoot them for a hundred damage. Honestly, I use it as a shotgun. <laughs> 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 like, um, I used it. Yes, I think it was like yesterday, the day before. I literally used it as a shotgun. Someone was rushing me, uh, and they tried to find me in a bush. And I was like, I don't know what this thing does. I don't know how much damage it does, so screw it. I'm going to see what it does. And then I headshot them for like 120, and they go flying. And I'm like, this is a good shotgun. <laughs> so it's like the flint knock, but it, it's like a larger variant of it. It just doesn't have that backs like that recoil. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep. So uh, distance wise, it sucks. The drop no, off is no, nuts. no. I mean, it's all right. I, I've gotten used to it. 
I've been used to it from hitting I, people from pretty far. I can't. I can't get used to it. I, that's why I say shotgun. I cannot hit my shots with that thing. Alright, uh, should, should we move on to the next topic? Of Anything course. To say about? All right. uh, this is just, next topic we're talking about is uh, Roblox. There's not that much. But Roblox, um, so you know when you're on, I don't, I don't know if you have ad blocker on, on Roblox of all games, but do you know though, do. the the user? Okay, well, before, do you know how Roblox had those like those ads, like Roblox's own ads? Yeah, and it got really bad. <laughs> Did it? Dude, I literally, when I got onto Roblox most of the time, it was like a really terribly drawn, like, advertisement about like some terrible tycoon game or it was like an actual detailed like full-on like artwork that was actually like presented and everything but it was just not clear advertising well, and then last are... but not least hmm? no, go on go on i'll, I'll talk about that and, and, and last but not least i think i remember seeing one ad of like this is jimbo he is sad and depressed He's saddened that you don't play his game. <laughs> it's just like a terribly drawn, like, noob, apparently. Okay, so well, I want to talk about that because starting tomorrow, they're going to... Because rem- those ads, those ads are made by, like, you know, the community for, to get the, for you to play their games, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, for, uh, Roblox, is get- is Roblox is getting rid of them tomorrow. We're not going to get any, like, user-made ads or anything on the site. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or bad thing. I honestly, not to sound mean or harsh, I'm not fully into the Roblox community, but I feel like that's a good thing because some people were abusing it, in my opinion. So, not trying to be harsh or mean. Plus, I think it's like kind of a bit costly to just have like random uh, like advertisements just go around all over the place without real moderation it has it's just like i know most of like the old people on road because that's been around for a long time so i know like i know the community i know the community's like um like i know like the ads the ads back in the day used to be kind of charming i remember seeing some like from like oh yeah used to watch it's more of like the community is just sad that it's been go- it's going away because it's been there for so long. Even though like the quality of of the ads have like been garbage for the last Dropping, like, years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, don't know. I see. I, what, I, I get what you mean by the whole charming thing. I literally sometimes when I go on Roblox, I literally get an ad that says, "I hope you have a good day," and it has like a smiley face. And I sat there and I was like, "Oh, well, thank you." Yeah. I don't know. I, I've I've had I've had I have ad blocker on. On Roblox, I don't see the ads anymore, but I, I have to... ad blocker on everything, so don't worry. Yeah. So, but when I the few times I have seen the ads, they're 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 all right. I don't know. I just kind of feel bad. Yeah, I, I get what you. Mean. It's kind of like back in the day when uh, I'm trying to think. I think back in the day when I used to uh, do a lot of bad business. Bad business did a lot of. Like, it did a lot of updates and everything along those lines, and they were more like outgoing and all that. But ever since it's like player base kind of dropped a tiny bit, they started doing ads. But if they're taking those out now, it's going to be kind of you know, it might start tarnishing some stuff here and there. Wait, are they still prominent today, or did they just get rid of? They're going. They're going away tomorrow. I don't know if they're going to be replaced with just normal company ads. That, that's what I think they're going to. That's what I think it's going to. Oh, happen. that would be that would be a terrible move. I probably are. I think they're going to be replaced with like just Walmart and just like just normal like just <laughs> ads like that. Oh, that's a buzzword for me. Um, I I hope that I hope that does not happen. I hope that does not happen. If if they just go with like. Honestly, if they just do more advertisements for, like, stuff regarding, like, smaller, like, content, like, not really smaller content creators, but, like, stuff along the lines of, like, smaller game developers, I'd be okay with that, because, you know, that that makes a lot more sense, and honestly, that would be a really good improvement on things. Yeah, another thing, I, I guess I forgot to bring this up when we were talking about Fortnite. 
Um, were you around when Fortnite did the? It was back in 2019. Do you remember? Well, you remember when Fortnite had the community choice? Uh, with like the whole vault and everything. Or you could vote for like a new skin to come out. Do you remember that? I don't know if you're around. Oh yeah, 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 I was. That, that got I removed. That. that got that got removed from the files in the Metallica update. Good because it kind of sucked to only choose <laughs> one skin out of all three. It's like the whole Minecraft thing where it's like you can only choose one mob. I mean, why not? Why why just choose one mod when you or mob when you can choose all of them? True. That was the, that was that was the, that was the update that got that gave us um bush ranger and turns. Remember when? Remember the community That's... didn't. Remember when the community didn't vote on turns and we got that dumb what was it like Riley Ripley skin that was like a. I'm I mean, trying to think. Are you talking about the like? Are you talking about like the the like girl that's like wearing blue and stuff? Here, uh, like pink I'll and send. Blue. I'll send you. A, I'll I'll send you this right now. It was this poll. I know you can't. I know the audience can't see it, but it was. It was turns. Uh, I think the, the other skin was called Black Manta, and then the Riley. We had a and oh, the yeah. Riley skin one, and we had to wait like months for turns to come out. Yeah, uh, I hate that so much. But yeah, they got yeah, just this... to make it short. They they got rid of that in the files. Not not like they have done anything. We haven't had a community choice since, like I said before, 2019. So it's been like. Almost five to, years. To be completely honest, I really hated that whole, like, situation. Because you had to, like, sit there for God knows how long just to, like, get a skin you wanted. I hate when companies do that sort of thing, where it's like, you have three amazing choices, but you can only choose one. That's, you know, that I hate that type of... You know, advertisement. Yeah, and then, you, then you have to wait months for the other skins that they didn't win to come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all I want to talk about. That's the last thing I wanted to wrap up for Fortnite, because the, the user, the Roblox ad reminded me of that somehow. Mm-hmm. I completely get that. I'm going to move on from uh, Roblox. Oh, there's not really that much to talk about for Roblox, other than, like, the only other thing I put on the list, well, my topics, was that... Roblox is fun again, kind of, and that's, I've only put that on list because I've been playing it a little bit more than usual, just personally. He's been playing it for one extra hour. <laughs> Back then I haven't really like played it, and then now it's like, well, I mean, because I think it's because the classic event. Because I I played the classic event, and I was like, oh, that's fun. Let me let me go back and kind of play Roblox a little bit. Again, sorry for missing out on that. No, you're good. You can still you can still get one item in the classic event. There's still one item you can get for free. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it. Uh, I'll try my best at least. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you about that later. It's, there's still yep. one thing you can get. Next topic, yeah. we want to move on, is uh, Minecraft. I don't no, know what's happening here. Nothing other than... Uh, did, Dream, did Dream break out again? No, no, well, thank God. <laughs> the, only thing I, the, only thing have, <laughs> the only thing I've listed is, um, so my, some of my like real life friends, we're gonna, we're kind of like, we're kind of like not as busy as we are usually, so we're gonna start the, we're gonna start our Minecraft two week phase sometime soon. Oh God! Like, Welcome to the unstable cave, SMP. I'm not, I'm not making that. That's he's so becoming dumb. a YouTube, he's becoming a Minecraft YouTuber, guys. Okay, even if I wanted to, Minecraft is the most like saturated game. There's like nothing you could do. There's like no new content you could make. My brother in Christ, they just released an update. Oh, the <laughs> Tricky Trials? I guess that's the name of them. I keep seeing it all over Twitter. Well, we're gonna because we usually but... usually we usually play Minecraft on Bedrock or Bug Rock because it's so glitchy. We've been playing on that, but uh, this like. This summer we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to play on Java. So this is gonna be like one of my first real times playing on Java in like a good while. Oh boy, you would love modding. I don't I don't want Just to mod. Modding. Java. If you say that, but when you like genuinely take your first hit of modding, 
It's so fun. I had a uh, Pokey mod. It's like, I think it was like, yeah, I think it was like Pokey, or, Pokey yeah, Pokey Craft. Yeah. And you, you're going to hate the first ever Pokemon I ever had. Probably a legendary or something, or like a mythical. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, Necrozma. Oh, Necrozma. It's not, not broken at all. <laughs> yeah, I got Necrozma. He was just walking out in the middle of the wild, and I'm like, hmm, I could use him. <laughs> I don't even know what mods I'd even want on Minecraft. I'm not like, I, maybe if I asked for my like, what was it like? myself back in like 2011 2012 when i was like a kid playing it but i don't even know what i don't even know what mods he would even want on minecraft nowadays uh, i mean there's uh like i'm not sure i'm not sure if you've been like fully into the whole modding community Maybe with the cave dweller. the cave dweller mod sounds kind of cool cave dweller one. the hell is the oh yeah it's that like a one horror mod, yeah maybe a hero honestly mod for like old times sake that'd be kind of funny Honestly, a good combination I would really love is, uh, so back in the day when I used to mod a bunch of Minecraft, uh, back when, uh, I think it's, yeah, just normal Forge was around before it got shut down and turned into, court, like, Cursed Forge, uh, -huh. uh, there's this mod, uh, that was basically a zombie mod, but the thing is, is that, um, so every, so every day... Uh, there is this infection that would go along the entire, like, actual world. And what it would do is, is that it would continuously keep spreading. Uh, and what it did was, is that it turned anything in the, like, in the proximity of that spread into, like, hideous abominations. Uh, for example, uh, there was, uh, I'm trying to think. There were plants that if you stepped in the vicinity of, they would raise, like, spikes and all that. Um, try to think. Uh, villagers were turned into, like, hideous monsters that when you kill them, like, I think, like, smaller mobs come out. Uh, I think it's, like, maggots or something. And if it hit you, you had, like, some type of infection... It, it was one of those, like, decent mods that I really loved. I, I, that just kind of sounds like the corruption biome from Terraria. It does, but here's the here's the most, like, scary thing about it. So, back when I used to play it, uh, I would just let the infection just spread, because I didn't really care about it. And thing is, is that it got so bad that in me, where every time you kill something, it leaves a body. And when that body just stays there, if another entity comes near it that was also infected, it would start creating a large mass. Ew. And it would start, yeah, it would start creating a large mass. And what it would do is, is that it would just keep growing and growing. Uh, and you would get like one or two different creatures. Uh, there was a, I, I call them stalkers. Uh, what it would do is, is that during the uh, well, during the day, it would be stationary inside of, like, a cave or something. Uh -huh. But during the day, uh, it literally had, like, a, a shit ton of legs. And what it would do is it would actually scout out for prey out at night. And be where it's pitch black, so you can't see it. Um, and I think if you had the, uh, what's it called? Realistic, is that what it's called? I think it's, like, Optifine. Oh, if yeah, you had Optifine fine. on, you would not see it. You would not be able to genuinely tell where it was. So it was terrifying to just, like, be walking out in the middle of the woods to go collect, like, wood or something. And then just next minute, Get next minute, all you see. Yeah, for me, the first time I ever saw it, it was attacking, it like, a cow. And I didn't even know what it was. I was like, oh, I think it's, like, a... Like, of course, a spider spider jockey that was attacking the cow or something. But then when I looked at it, it got real, like, it was way too fast for a spider jockey. And it had more than, or had more legs than a spider. So I sat there and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go back to my, I'm just going to go back to camp. <laughs> I'm not sticking nice. out. That sounds kind of and. It, it is, and I think the other was called a spore spreader, which literally just flew up into the air and would contaminate 
other biomes far outside its range. So, have you ever the, uh, have you ever beat the Ender Dragon before on Minecraft? Uh, <laughs> in the most cheesy way possible, yes. <laughs> Was it with mods? Uh, so, not with mods. Uh, basically what I would do is, is that I would literally just go up to a pillar, my arrow up, and what it would do is, is that the arrow would go all the way back down and go through the, uh, iron bars and hit the actual, like, oh, what's the, it called? The end crystal. Yeah, the end crystals. And then last but not least, me and my friends kept the Elder Dragon alive, or not the Elder Dragon, the Ender Dragon alive, just to farm... <laughs> just to farm dragon's breath. Dragon's breath. <laughs> what do you? Cause it's been it's been a while since I. Uh, I don't, you know I, you never played Bedrock, right? I wanted to I wanted to ask. I played is both. The Ender, is the Ender Dragon harder on Bedrock or on PC? I need to know. Um. So the, the it wither. Doesn't... I know like there's memes about the wither being really easy on PC, but like hard as shit on Bedrock, and I I can fully agree with that. But I need to know about the Ender Dragon. Um, so with the Ender Dragon, uh, I feel like it just, the, like, with how difficult it is, it would depend on what you're, like, currently trying to do. Uh, if it's on Bedrock, it depends on what, like, are you playing on console or are you playing on, like, your computer? Console? Well, well, um, well, cause I, I played on console, I played on console a lot of time, it's just, I've never fully, like, committed a... Like P like Java Minecraft because I haven't had a good like PC for it. Now that mm -hmm. I have a good well my laptop now, now that I have like a decent laptop now I, I just want to compare because I know I've se I've seen clips where the Ender Dragon like launches you up in the air and you have to like MLG water bucket sometimes or it'll die. I just, does he still do that? Uh, so definitely. Huh. Uh, I... there there will be plenty of times where you'll be fighting something and just flings you up into the air um so basically it all really depends on like so are you using um please god tell me you're using like an actual mouse and not the mouse no pad, like, i am no little. obviously i'm not a i'm not a <laughs> i'm not like a caveman dude I'm, of course i have a, a mouse okay i was about to say then yeah you should be fine just Dude, Try I, to not. I can't go MLG. Too... I can't MLG water. I can barely do it on on Bedrock with like the my ping and brother, stuff. I can't do it on PC. My brother in Christ, there's something called fully kidding yourself out before fighting the Elder or like the Ender Dragon. Yeah, that's easy. But if he launches me in the air and he, he like knocks me down like a hundred blocks, doesn't matter how much like armor I have, I'm still gonna instantly die of fall damage. Not yeah. instantly die. Just, literally just bring a bunch of stakes with you. I guess. I don't know. I'm just scared of him. I'm just scared of him. The, he's going to launch me up to like... like the, the, real one you, the real one you should be worried about is the Warden. Oh, well, I never mess with the Warden. The things that you don't have a choice. The Warden is no, a random spawn I, I out usually, in the middle of I usually, takes, I usually take eggs or snowballs, and if like he spawns, I just launch him across like... The dungeon and he goes no there. no what i'm trying to tell you like i think it's called the the warden the guy that like if you make noise he comes yeah. to you yeah but um you, you, as long as you have like like carpet or wool it doesn't you're not affected by it. and you, if you throw like an egg or a snowball but he, he picks up on that well what, what what i'm trying to tell you is is that like you won't have a choice on when you meet him thing is is that he'll just randomly be in the world somewhere i don't know if there's like some epic gamer like way of trying to find him but I mean, you'll know when he's around because he'll have um like the area will be covered in blindness like you'll be blind well yeah i know that but i'm honestly just referring to like when you're mining because things oh, is that yeah, we me and, me and people i used to know uh we just randomly found it just out in the middle of nowhere i remember back on uh bedrock i i was like i don't know i was like a thousand like a lot i don't know like tens of thousands of blocks down i found him and i had a i went around like the area just clicking all like the little like the drops from like the chest like the, the spike was the new item at the time and he spawned for me and i was like i was like i was so fucking scared 
<laughs> it's like a lethal company in a sense where we didn't know what we were doing. And then once we found out, we were, <laughs> it was already kind of too late. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's it for Minecraft. I don't know. I'm gonna I kinda I'm gonna have to start playing it again. Uh, Fair enough. Other other topics we have uh Pokemon Go. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, you're gonna be saying that. So other than like me getting ready for like Go Fest, that's gonna happen in July thirteenth and fourteenth for global. I've uh I'm shiny hunting in Pokemon Go. Honestly, I I don't know I don't know how, but I've been catching a lot of shiny Pokemon as of recently. I got a shiny Panchim from uh hatching and then I got a shiny and then I got a shiny uh Pidgey to which I fully uh maxed out all the way into uh Pidgeotto. I'm getting so. a few shinies too. Um or is I, it Pidgey Hot? I don't know. Pidgeotto. Oh, uh, sorry. Continue. Yeah, I've um. Since you know, like I bought the Go Plus Plus, and it gives you a special research of getting a uh, costumes. Uh, what was it like Nightcaps and Relax? And you only mm -hmm. get you only get a, like a few counters per account. So I did a pro gamer move. Well, I think it was. It's been like I think two weeks now. I went out and bought like the cheapest phone I could possibly buy, and I made mm -hmm. a new account on there. So I'm gonna start just farming for for shiny nightcap Snorlaxes, and then if I don't get it, I'm just gonna just delete it and make a new account and just keep going for it. I mean that makes a lot of sense. I mean, like right now, I'm mostly just like kind of doing my own thing with Pokemon Go. Um, with Shinies and all that, I don't, I think there's like a certain way that you can get them. It's just you have to like wait a tiny bit. Um, I've gotten numerous Shinies, but things I think, yeah, I got a Shiny, uh, it's like, I don't know, I forgot the full on name of it. I think, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a bird with like a bone, like bone around its waist or something. Oh, uh, Gen 5. I you, forgot its name. Yeah, yeah. You know what about. I'm talking about, though. Yeah. But I got the shiny variant of that, and then I think that's pretty much it. I'll I'll just show you later. But, um... Mandibuzz? I think it was Mandibuzz. Yeah, Mandibuzz. I think it's the before evolution of Mandibuzz. Oh... I forgot its name, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not worth remembering at this point. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much uh, with Pokemon, I think you just have to wait to a certain limit uh, of like how many Pokemon you've caught slash how many Pokemon you have currently. So I think there's just like a certain amount that you have to wait for for that to take into effect. The Pokemon, uh, it was Volibee. I just remembered. Volibee. Yeah, okay. I got a, a yesterday, because they're talking about shiny Pokemon. Yesterday I got, um, let me look it up real quick. I forgot its name. It was like, it's that one Pokemon that has different forms based on the weather. But it's, it's not, it's. Cast form? Cast form, yeah. I got a shiny cast form. But it was just, it was, it's just normal cast form. I never thought cast form had an actual like shiny evolution. I I thought it was like gold or something. No, normal shiny cast form. It's it's the bot instead of white, it's pink, and then it's like eyes is like oh. kind of yellowish. I don't know. This is adorable. I'd rather take a wa I'd rather have a water shiny cast form. I don't like I don't like normal shiny cast form. It's too like weird. It looks too weird. I mean, I completely get that. Yeah other, yeah, other than me buying a new phone just to shiny hunt that, I've been I've been shiny hunting. Um, oh, what what's the what's that one team leader's name? Serena, not Serena. Serena, yeah, Serena? That, Serena's one of Ash's many like cohorts. No, uh, what was that one Pokemon Go leader? The girl. Uh, 
the one that has Steve Moltres. I don't know. It's one of the, it's one of the the rocket leaders. Oh, one of the oh, one of the rocket leaders. It's, uh, the, it's the girl. There's, I think it's Serena actually. Yeah. Sierra. Sierra. That's her name. Sierra. Sierra's, yeah. Sierra's shadow Pokemon right now is Trapinch, and Trapinch is like, probably like top. I got, I got probably really is. lucky. I, think I got really lucky and got a shadow touched uh, Gabite. Gabite. That's Surprisingly, cool. yeah. But yeah, it's. It's been like that for a while. Her Pokemon you can get from her is a Shadow Trap Inch. Trap Inch is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, for like ever. And I'm trying, I'm trying to get a. I I, I already got. I got, I got a, I got a shiny from it, and I got a Hundo from it. But I wanna, I want a Shundo. I want my, I want to I've never had a Shundo before. I want, I want that to be one of my first. I want that to be a, like a Shundo. Dude, these Pokemon names have been getting out of, like out of hand. For example, I think I still remember uh, v Vivavroom. Is that its name? Oh, that's from the new one. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet, Poison Steel. Yeah. I think. I that's a really weird typing, in my opinion. I don't know. I it's from the new. It's from the new Poke. I don't really know. The new Pokemon designs for me are really hit and miss. Vivavroom is just kind of. It, it's just. I mean, there. I like the. I like the design of Vivavroom, to be honest, because when you sit down and look at like, it honestly just looks like a metal version of a of a lawnmower. Like, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to think, like an Outlander lawnmower or something along those lines. I can so, kind of see that, yeah. Yeah, uh, pretty much with just Pokemon Go, though. I I will say I. I've been playing more of it, and getting those shinies kind of just makes me want to play a tiny bit more, but I have to usually exercise for that. Yeah, I don't exercise much anymore. <laughs> yeah, there's really, we're really not going to get anything for Pokemon Go, like any new events, because right now they're having their real-life Pokemon Go events. I think right now, it's the today's the 16th, right? I'm yeah, since today's yeah. the 16th, I'm recording. They're wrapping up right now in uh, Med in uh, Madrid, Spain. That was. They're like, yeah, they're wrapping up uh, having the Go Fest in Spain right now. Hmm. And then in okay. July, from July fifth to the seventh, they're gonna they're gonna be hosting in uh, New York. Hog. And then after that, I think we're finally gonna. And then after that, we're finally gonna get global Go Fest, so everyone can play. That's what I'm waiting on. But until then, uh, I'm just kind of, I don't know, there's really nothing to do in the game, game-wise. Like, yeah, I kind of get what you mean. I mean, I've just been trying to finish up quests here and there that I haven't done yet. But it's just, there's not much you can really do when, <laughs> you know, you don't have much to your disposal, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. now, what's it, uh, what's it like playing Pokemon Go, like, in a rural area, like, like you because i know for me I, I have like cities i could go to is it is it is it as pain is it as painful as people said uh so in rural areas it all really depends on which ones you're so it really depends on your area so for me um it, it's very painful because you have to you know you have to sit there and you have to kind of it's kind of like fishing you sit there and you wait and you you wait for like a couple of hours. You might get like one or two Pokemon. If you're using incense or anything along those lines, maybe three or four, but just any Pokemon at all in rural areas, nothing. You only get like one or two Pokemon a day and then that's it. That sucks. So, but it's amazing when you go to say like a local village or something along those lines something that's like not too big uh not too small um because gyms are so easy uh gyms oh yeah I uh, bet. they're probably yeah there's probably anybody there uh when i went to my uh local like i i just call it a village i literally sat there and uh, i went to the local gym 
the highest CP that was there was like 746. And that was so funny because my Arcanine, which was uh, like my highest ranked currently, was around, I think, 1446. So it was almost twice than that. Well, I never asked. Wait, did I ever ask you what, what, what Pokemon team are you? Uh, I believe I'm Team Fire. I believe. Okay, Valor. But yeah, it it's it's really fun and really easy. Out in rural areas, it's just you don't get a lot of Pokemon action, which is the main thing. Yeah, for me, I have to fight for my life if I want to put my Pokemon in a gym. My Pokemon was in a gym for like, try to think. My Pokemon was in the gym for like a good maybe like two or three days. And <laughs> ever really defeated it. They like people like every so often were like whittling it down. But <laughs> I kept refilling its health because I had to go back in for a dental appointment. <laughs> so people kept trying to like break it down and everything, but I just kept healing it. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> So it was it was funny. Yeah, that's really what I for uh, Pokemon wise. For when when go when Global arrives, we're gonna be getting uh, the release of uh, Necrozma. That I I can't wait for that. And you're honestly, gonna, you're gonna be able exactly. to fuse it with uh, what are the two? Solgaleo and um. I I prefer Lunala. Lunala I prefer. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you, I just simply prefer just the base version of Necrozma. I like the design. That, or will they ever have, like, Z-moves or anything along those lines? There's some there's, there's some rumors that we might be getting, um, I think, Dynamax soon or something like that. But I don't know. I think those are just rumors right now. I pray to God that... Because Z moves, especially with Necrozma, uh, fused like with either Lunala or Sogaleo, is one of the most impressive, like, I'm trying to think, one of the most impressive, yeah, not only animations, but like actual character design. What is, what is Necrozma based off of? Like a prism? Uh, yeah, he's supposed to be uh, based off of a prism. Uh, do you know? Okay, so do you know that like image of like a black diamond in the middle of like a black abyss, to where like only one ray of light is shining in through one side, but the rainbow is on the other. Yeah, it's kind of based off of that one, like that one kind of. Well, in my opinion, it's kind of based off of that one. Um. Kind of like I wouldn't say poster, but that one oh, Pink Floyd, like yeah. art. Yep, <laughs> Pink Floyd. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty cool. So no, I've never. What are they? It's Gen Seven. No, it's Gen Seven. Sun and Moon and Ultra never, Sun and Moon. Which I've never I've really. Both. I have. I have one of the games. I've never really played it through, so I don't really have attachment to the legend that legendary trio. But I don't know, it'll be I, really cool to fuse them. I absolutely love uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, in my opinion, would have to be one of the best games I've played, but nothing can top X and Y. X and Y was pretty fun. X and Y, I genuinely love uh, like the whole feel and aesthetic to it, as well as simply just trying to think. I also, like, the anime, like, the Pokemon, like, TV show during that time, in my opinion, was at its all-time peak. And funny enough, my local time, store, right. my local store is getting it in stock, too, so I can't wait. That's cool. Are you, you going to end up buying a Switch soon when, Z, when Pokemon Z arrives or comes out? Do I have to pay for online? Uh, probably for some features, but... Because I like I don't want to pay for online if it's um, not cause... it's not an online game you can play it offline. I just don't think you'll be able to. Okay. Play. 
trade and stuff, but... Because how much is it for Nintendo... Uh, what's it called? Nintendo Online for the Switch? Uh, it varies. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a family plan with my friends. Hold on. Let me look real quick. Nintendo Online. Uh, what's it called? Is it like a subscription? Yeah, it's a subscription. Like 20 bucks a year, I'm looking at it right now. 20, yeah, 20 dollars a year. Uh, once a month is about four bucks. Three months is about eight, and one year is about twenty. Uh, I mean, it, it looks good, but I feel like there's some kind of like, there's some kind of catch to it. I might, Not I might really. sit down. You can, you can I might, upgrade for the for the expansion pack, which I wouldn't recommend doing. Hell no. Nah. Unless you really want to but, play Nintendo 64 games and Game Boy Advance. Nah. I mean, I'm, I'm debating on getting a Switch, but at my local store, as I think it's, like, really expensive, I'm probably just going to wait till it goes on clearance. Good luck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you have to wait until, like, maybe Black Friday or something. Yeah, that, yeah, fair enough. Oh, but if you do get a Switch, we, we can play more games. That'd be kind of fun. I want to 1v1 you um, with Smash you were, Mario Kart and stuff. Oh, I was, okay, I was about to say, Mario Kart, you're going to make me throw my Switch. Oh, I will. <laughs> I play dirty in Mario Kart. I'm the, I'm the person that throws gels back in first place right before I cross the finish line. Just to I use my, you, I'm the type of person to use the bullet bill in first place. <laughs> As in, like, I hold on to it, I somehow get to first place and just use it. So... Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. on topic. There's, that's, what about, that's about it for Pokemon Go, just preparing for Go Fest, really. Mm -hmm. uh, other topics? We have uh, Steam. Yep. Other, other games. Oh, Lethal Company uh, is going to come out soon with the car update. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think the car is going to be very useful, plus it's going to be hella, like, hella expensive. I don't know, dude. I feel like it might be kind of fun. I mean, yeah, it would probably definitely be fun, but you have to keep in mind, things will probably definitely, there will be stuff that will definitely have kryptonite to cars. For example, giants. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to run them over or if we're going to be able to get grabbed out of the cars. Do, do you, I know in the trailer they showed it running over um, eyeless dogs. Do you think it's going to one-shot them? No. <laughs> 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 Remember, the only thing that can one-shot a dog would definitely be the... What's it called? The sandworm sand, or the sand, sand leviathan. leviathan. Yeah. That's the only thing that really gets rid of both giants and dogs. And remember, the sand leviathan now goes for everything that sits on the sand. True. I just wonder how useful it's gonna be because I mean, I know it's like, oh, we can we we, we can put a bunch of shit in the in the van and and take it over to the to the ship. But even when even when we play, when we stockpile a shit ton of items at the front door, it's not really a problem bringing them here and back. No, it is. It is. It's not really. <laughs> it is. Okay, it's, it's not only, really. It's only it's only Coming hard the... on 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 was it on the on the hard moons on like on the easium to medium on the hard moon. Yeah, brother in the Christ, no one. You say that. You say that. You're talking to the guy that's like, don't worry, I'll protect you, Pookie. And then literally, I'm sitting there trying to get rid of the eyeless dog for you so that you can get on the ship. And you're just going, ha ah, ha, ah, as you shut the door on me and launch the ship while I'm getting mauled to death. <laughs> so you saying, it's well, not that, it's funny, not yeah. that. It's not funny. <laughs> you're the one sitting there in the middle of the ship just going, ha ah, ha. Ah, and then once I die, you're like, ooh, I think Trooper's dead. No. Yeah, really? Yeah, I remember that. No, really? I'm dead? What gave you that idea? Do you think we're going to be able to one-shot each other if we drive each other over with the car? 
I don't know. I really want to know. If, if I, I answer know this question, it's going to be used I'm against me in the over. future. I want to know if you're, um, <laughs> I just want to know if you could stand on the car, if you could, like, I don't know, if you could, like, I don't know. There's, I, don't, I, really, I just can't wait for it to get released. Do we know when the release date was? Uh, I never saw the trailer. I'm probably going to, like, watch it after uh, this episode. But, from like, I, I have heard about the whole car thing, because I remember everyone was freaking out about it on Twitter. I think it was coming, like, on, like, the 25th or the 23rd or something. Like, the 20-something of this month. Oh, now I'm intrigued. So, it'll probably, um... Like, I feel like it's going to be one of the most chaotic updates out there, but yet again... Wait, did they give any updates about, like, any creatures or anything? From the trailer, no. All we have is just the company cruiser. Fuck. I, like, I really want new creatures. We just got, like, a lot. We got a butler and then the old bird. No, you're missing my favorite one. Oh, yeah, the one you always bring into the goddamn factory. It's not my fault. What was it called again? The something? It would It would be referred to as, uh, flower? I, believe... I don't remember. I think it's... I missed, hold on, give me one minute, I'll search up real quick, because let me look. Tulip snake, it was a tulip snake. Tulip snake? Oh, yeah. I, like, I barely remember the name of it, I just called it a flower snake. Yeah, it's not my fault. I don't know, I, I still always throw up my we still have to optimize the new map. I don't like the new map that we have. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Thing is, is that... Okay, so I like the whole, like... The transportation thing-wise, I actually kind of like, because uh, on one side, there's... Uh, no, it's like, horrible. It's like a half-broken bridge. It's like a half-broken half broken bridge, bridge. That and breaks, then there's, like, and then you fall, you fall into the, the FU pit. You're gonna die from anything, and then the other side, <laughs> the fuck you pit, and then the other side is just a long rickety bridge, and if you're far from that, you land like next to like the cabin. You need a key to unlock. So uh, if you're being chased, you're probably gonna die. Well, the thing is, is that uh, you have to con okay. So with this sort of thing, you have to kind of conserve uh, like your stamina. What I do is that every time I get stuck in the pit, I always try to like take a shortcut if that makes sense and when i take that shortcut uh it, it it makes it not as unbearable um because i'm trying to think because if you're getting chased by a giant the giant has to walk all the way around just to go up that hill but if you're able to cut through it or at least jump all the way up through it you should be perfectly fine but yet again, that all depends if there's also dogs and God knows what else near the ship. Yeah, I don't know. It's too, it's too like, compact for me. There's too much stuff that can spawn and just instantly kill you. But I don't know. Yeah, but you should be fine, though. You, <laughs> you already dumped me off to the side. <laughs> you, that one time where I got, like, the gold bar and you didn't help me out and I died to the giant. And then you were like, oh my God, I bet Cape is still alive. I'm gonna go find him. Then you got died to the same giant. I like. I didn't know you had a gold bar. You never yeah, told me. Yeah, I had you a gold. Because like, you left me to. You left me to die, and I was like, I was like. You did it found... to me twenty four seven, both in Fortnite yeah, and in that's, lethal. That's different. I had a gold bar. I had a gold bar. <laughs> that's different. I had monetary gain. <laughs> and I was like, I remember, I picked it up. I was like, I swear to God, if I end up dying with this gold bar, I'm be pissed. And I, I like the giant ate it, and I was like. That was I was kind of mad. <laughs> it's like, but that's different. I had monetary gain and I had stuff on the line. <laughs> but yeah, um, but it's fine pretty now. much. We, we, we can do we can do dances with them in Fortnite. We could. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot Lethal Company and Fortnite had to collab. I think they added the gritty into Lethal. I think. 
Did they really? Or I was, think so. A, I know that's a mod you can get. Oh yeah, I know that, but I think it's like I think it's like canon now. That's funny. I like how it's canon that Lethal Company character Lethal Company is stronger in Fortnite than he is in his own game. I mean that because he's given a shotgun. Remember, there's a shotgun in Lethal too. Yeah, but and you see yeah, me, but the, you the see company me employee. Use it. Yeah, but the company employee dies to a shotgun in its own game. Doesn't doesn't always die to a shotgun in Fortnite. My brother in Christ, you die anyways if you get shot by a goddamn shotgun. <laughs> I just find it I just I find it really funny that like once the season's over and Lethal Company guy like gets rifted back to his own um to his own game, the next time he sees a monster he just pulls out he pulls out the editing thing and just starts Starts like cranking 90s on the giant <laughs> escape or some shit. Like I was thinking, I was thinking some sort of like along the lines of like he gets rifted back into his own like reality. But things that he does not have that like ability to edit and build anymore. He's just sitting there, just like, okay, I should be fully prepared for when a dog comes up. And then literally, there's like a bunch of new stuff that was added since he was gone. So he's just sitting there like. I can't edit my way out of this, and I don't have a tag. <laughs> so he's just trying to figure out what the hell to do, and he's lost all of his abilities that he had from Fortnite. That's do what we, I just imagined. Yeah. Do we have any new um, updates for Content Warning, the other game we play? So I've heard some things here and there that Content Warning is getting an update sometime soon. But thing is, is that it's more kept on the down low than anything. I think I heard from like a content creator or two that there is going to be an update coming up. It's just it's not going to be anytime soon. Oh, okay. So, but if it's going to be like the last update where they gave us like God knows how, I think it's like eleven new enemies. Well, no, one new map and twenty-two enemies. I think. I could just be like. I, I, I could just be yapping, but yeah. All In right. all honesty, we need new, like, I'm trying to think. In all honesty, with content warning, we need new updates along the lines of, like, you not I'm trying to think, like, when you, when you get the... I, excuse me? You waste <laughs> our, we, waste our, we waste our money on that hookshot and it does nothing. And I, then you die. And I on go, that hook shot? Yeah. What do you mean? It's actually useful. It's good when you die, because you always die. Actually, no, you don't always die. You sacrifice me. <laughs> I, mean, I, I am literally. You. I am the. I am your Kenny from South Park. No, no, you're it's like, not. Every oh time that, God, one, that, one, that one ghost shows up with the lights, you're like, hold on, hold on. I need to drop everything we're doing and and record record myself dying to it. My brother in Christ, it gives us more money. No, it doesn't. The the giant gives us more money. Oh, yeah, the giant that honestly you sacrificed me to? Yeah. No, you end up, no, you end up dying, you end up dying to yourself because you keep, you keep going next to the, the slime guys that take you into the, deep into the, into the, Because you locked me out of the ship! No, I I don't. I open up. The no, show, like, they, they <laughs> no, crawl I in don't. And then you're like, don't release. Really, you're they like, crawl in. Uh huh. You are. You are. Like, don't you release are the door. Yapping. Don't release the door. Like, open the door. And it just you are zooms out yapping, brother. Oh, no, we need to All I have to. Like, word of advice to word of, word of advice to you viewers: do not do not trust this man. He will he will lock the door on you when you're heading into your heading into your ship both and lethal and in content no i don't Just do it i don't i don't do it in lethal because lethal's like more serious lethal's more serious i think i think content warning is like 20 times more serious than lethal lethal is more like like oh god he got eaten alive i am literally the kenny of your south park here hunter and you keep sacrificing me for no reason well maybe i'd help you out if you if you can make that one jump when we're landing on that one planet and lethal on the pipe. 
dude, I was the first one to make that jump, and then you yeah, were like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, but I can make it consistently now. You can't. Like, literally, I was sitting there, and, okay, literally, this is how an entire Lethal Company run goes. It's like, okay, we got stuff. Oh, my God, we got so much stuff. We're going back to ship, and it's almost night. Hunter, you're always up front for some weird-ass reason. And you always just, like, once you make it to the ship, you sit down, you look at me on my way back. (laughs) You sit down, you look at me on my way back, and then you, like, start doing the whole dance and everything. And then a giant pops out of nowhere, grabs me, swallows me whole with the loot as well. And you're just sitting there like, oh, my God, Trooper's dead. What do you want me to do? I can't fight the giant. (laughs) Yes, you can with a flashbang. You never let me have them. You're, you never let me use them. <laughs> because you use them against me. <laughs> no, I don't. Anyways. Um... Anyways, move, moving on, moving on. Yeah, okay, moving on. All right. So this one I'm actually really hyped for. So, you know Shovel Knight? Uh, Yes. It's getting, it, they're getting a remake, and it's going to be called Shovel Knight, Shovel Knight, uh, DX. And I'm really, really DX? hyped. DX? Deluxe. Oh, Deluxe. It's going to oh, be, the, okay. it's going to be the same game, except there's going to be, there's going to be, um, like, there's going to be, um, save states, rewinds, a lot of more characters, like, 20, 20 characters you can play up, like, 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 20 characters you can play. And this is the main reason why I'm hyped. We're gonna have local and online multiplayer. So when the game okay. comes out, I don't I don't care. Is it who out, it's the on game. Switch or Steam? It's on everything. It's, it's, in it's on everything. Okay. Oh, but damn, I don't okay. I don't care. I don't care when it comes out. I don't care if you end up buying it or I'm gonna buy it for you. But we're we're playing it. We're playing it, and I'm making a YouTube video series on it. And I'm going to kill you. I will kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna screw you over in the game, and I call dibs on Plague Knight. Okay, you can have them. I was gonna go with. Uh, I don't know what type of knights there are. Probably. Wait, is, is there such thing as King Knight, or is yeah. that just like an NPC? No, you can play as King Knight. Yeah, I'll probably go with King Knight if I remember. All right. But yeah, they just announced it. I don't know. It's, a, it's there's no release or anything for it yet, but I'm like really really hyped for it. The Shovel Knight's probably my, no Shovel Knight. No, I can probably I can confidently say Shovel Knight is probably my favorite indie game of all time ever. <coughs> I mean, honestly, I would love to play it. I've seen I hate to mention them, uh, Game Grumps uh, play it before, as well as I think Oni plays. I'm not sure if it was either one of those two. Um, play it and honestly i would not mind giving it a shot hopefully i can you need it but it's so much fun dude hopefully i mean it's hopefully it's not gonna be too expensive like the games we have nowadays the which game, are like the game o- um it's on it, this game's gonna go up the, the normal game is gonna go is gonna be 50 percent off tomorrow through the through the 27. Ooh. It's already on sale on on Switch, but yeah, the you know, Shovel Knight always goes on sale. Ooh, I, I, love I might so actually, much. I, I have that game on. Smart. I have that game on my 3DS. I have it on my Wii U. I have it on my Switch. I think I I don't know if I bought it on Steam. I, I either I either bought it on I either bought it on Steam or I have it wish listed. Yeah, Honestly, it if it if it's coming out tomorrow at half off, I'm dead. Well, the, the no, original I'm game, the original game, not the. Oh, DX. the original. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was the DX. No, no, not the DX. Okay, but um, yeah, I'd, I'd be down to play with you. I just hopefully it's not going to be one of those like heavily expensive games because games nowadays are like fifty nine ninety nine nowadays. So. No, it, it, no, they're, they're they're not they're not no. It's Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's reasonably pl- priced. Okay. Yeah. Really about it. The other the only thing we have to talk about is just like what I've been up to gaming wise, and I've been I, I'm picking up. I'll I'm re not replaying, but I'm starting to play 
uh, my copy of Pokemon White 2 again, and I forgot how much fun it was. I, like, I remember, I think I still have it on my 3DS, I don't know. I hope I still do. Uh, I actually bought one of the old classic Pokemon games. I think it's like, uh, it's the one with Ho-Oh, I believe. Oh, um, what was it? Oh, uh, Sun and Gold, or, um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver? I think it's like, uh, I think it's like Gold. It's like one of the old classic, uh, like, I think it's like NES, I think. Oh, uh, Game Boy, yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the yeah, second Game gen. Boy. Yeah, Gold and Silver. Yeah, I, I have Gold and Silver. Oh, did you buy it? Just, like, well, I think it's cool. Did you buy it before the shutdown? I bought it before the shutdown, yeah. Same, uh, same. That, The reason why I bought it was because uh, I actually, uh, I think before the shutdown, uh, there was Pokemon Bank, which I bought to transfer all of my Pokemon. Yeah. Yes. And just so that you know, I lost five boxes of shiny Pokemon. All maxed out. Wow. IVs everything Alan or something or uh so basically i think i had to get a new 3ds because my old one the top part of it fell off um. <laughs> so it was it had a lot of wear and tear to it but um pretty much i had to get a whole new 3ds and then you, the second you, you time should, around you should still save because whatever email you used for that for the eShop, it should still save yeah, I don't know. The, remember, Pokebank's entirely down now, especially no, with the whole not. shutdown. Pokemon games, the Pokemon Bank's the only thing that's up. Still on the shop? Yes. Oh well, you can't buy it, but like the service is still online. So if you have it installed, it's, it's it still works. Huh? Okay. That's, I'm that's actually, the main reason because well, I've. I guess I can say this now. I went out and I bought like a bunch of. I, I bought all. I bought the rest of uh, Black and White Two, which is the two games I was missing. I went and bought a bunch of classic DS Pokemon games because I wanted to try to play them like fully before the, like before that before a bank gets shut down. Which I don't, I don't. There's no. There's no date yet for it, but I kind of want to get as many Pokemon as I can from the older games. Like honestly, I mean, I could probably see if I can get all that shiny Pokemon. But thing is, is that there's one I don't want to do. So when the whole Nintendo eShop shut down and I just didn't play my Pokemon, you know, go as often. Um, basically, I grabbed my Pokemon party with all my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I spent about an hour pretty much just like just kind of like filling out the hearts bar on them, like the whole like being a buddy system. Uh -huh. And pretty much, I just let them be in my party, and I just kind of shut the game off and never played since. That was kind of my way of saying goodbye to my Pokemon team before just leaving the whole 3DS genre entirely. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I had uh, my keys were up there. Apparently, they just fell. But yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty much, I mean, thanks for letting me know about Pokemon Go and how, well, not Pokemon Go, damn it, uh, Pokebank, because I genuinely just never picked it up ever again. Yeah, you're, it's all good. Uh, that's so, about it for me, if you have any other topics you want to talk about. Um, uh, there was one topic that I wanted to bring up that I'm honestly kind of happy about. Uh, so, of course, it's Helldivers, but, um... So basically, uh, as of recently, uh, one of my most like favorite things happened in the Helldivers community, uh, which was uh, pretty much we had, excuse me, we had a choice in Helldivers where we can get anti-tank mines or we can save children. And the thing is, is that everyone just straight up saved the kids. And I absolutely love that side of the community on Helldivers um, because we literally saved the kids. Uh, the developer of Arrowhead, or I, I think that's him, um, 
pretty much donated four thousand three hundred and eleven dollars to I think it was like uh, I, I forgot the charity's name. I know it's the same one that at my current job we're also like every purchase made inside the store uh, is contributed to that fun like to that fundraiser as well. So. And not that, that had to be one of the most like wholesome things I've ever seen out of a gaming community besides being in Warframe. Um, and pretty much, uh, I also donated as well to the same, uh, I'm trying to think, to the same, uh, my brain is like not thinking. Community or charity. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I donated to the same charity as well, uh, about 50 bucks at least. I couldn't spare a lot, but it, it's still it's still something. Uh -huh. So, and I, I sat there in the back of my mind, and I was like, this is what a Helldiver would do. <laughs> there was a cape design I saw. I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you what it was. I really, I really want this to be the cape design if we do get it for, for the kids. I saw that. I saw that earlier. The thing is, is that road, the road carpet. I love that. Yeah, the classic road carpet. Um, another thing I saw uh, that was going around was uh, I remember. I'm not sure if it, it was somebody that made it or if it was the actual kids like that actually drew it or something. Um, apparently, there was an actual like picture that was hand drawn with crayon and everything by kids and it was thanking hell divers for the donation and everything along those lines and it was really sweet and adorable and people are trying to ask uh the devs to please put it in her freighter because or like the ship destroyer and honestly i would love to i would love to just every time i log into hell divers i would just see that on the wall and i actually would feel pretty pretty happy about that because like i said i donated too and you know it'd be yeah it'd be really nice to see that was it was it the was it the one uh someone drew or was like thank you mr hell diver like yeah thank you yeah yeah, thank you, Mr. Helldiver. And I think there was like a couple more of like a bunch of like pictures that were hand drawn. I think it was like I think it, it might have just been like a fan thing, but uh, it was actually a bunch of like pictures that were drawn in crayon of like Helldivers holding the hands of like young kids and everything, and just like fireworks in the background and like thank you Helldivers. And it was just really wholesome because in the back of my mind I was like, this is this is what the hell died. Helldivers is slowly making that return back to being one of the greatest games that genuinely came out. And I'm all for it as well. So. Uh, yeah. And also, uh, another update I have, uh, from what I've heard from the actual community, we are actually getting the review bomb capes coming soon. Oh, we actually uh, thought that was going to come out or not. Uh, they are. The, it's just right now they're trying to see if they can get the green light. Um, you know what the review bomb is, right? Yeah, I know. It's the it's okay. where, where it's, what is it? It's the graph where instead of the blue lines at the top, it's the orange lines going down at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, to the viewers uh, who aren't really knowledgeable about the whole Helldivers community, as well as uh, just in general people who are curious, uh, the review bomb situation with Helldivers, uh, basically the whole PlayStation Network and everything along those lines happened. And to put it simple, uh, with the review bomb that people did, it was like a protest to try to boycott uh, hell divers to let them know, like, hey, we're not okay with this. And to which message was received, and you know, they worked with PlayStation, and PlayStation backed off, luckily. And thing is, is that the reviews went from mostly negative to mostly positive, all in one day. Sadly, though, uh, I think one member of the staff was demoted, that or fired, in a sense. And pretty much, I'm not sure if they ever got rehired ever again after the whole people were trying to protest. 
but um, pretty much after the review bomb, everyone uh, was actually kind of proud that we finally got the reviews back up and running. And I think, yeah, we were trying to make a cape for it, or they're trying to make a cape for it, uh, as well as uh, I think there was this one illustration or like portrait of uh, so Hunter or not Hunter the unstable cape. Sorry. Um, do you know the uh, Do you know the uh, beacons that would show up when you uh, throw down an orbital? Yeah. Someone was editing, uh, or like made a portrait of where uh, the beacons would start showing, and on the other, like on the downside to where uh, I think it was like, yeah, I think I was like red was like a automaton factories with the uh, orbital light behind them, and then on the top uh, was uh, the blue ones that huge spike that was going up. Uh, was uh, a beacon, and there was just a Helldiver saluting behind it. I'll have to find it uh, probably after this episode, though. All right. So, but honestly, I just wanted to share that because it, that's a huge achievement, at least for people who play Helldivers at least. But um, I'd like, we need more gaming communities that are like that nowadays. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I have left to share. Sorry if I rambled on a bit too long. Nah, you're fine. That's that's all I have. That's all I have it to. So, if you wanna wanna just wanna end off the recording. Pretty much. All right. That was it for Gaming in Spades episode nine. Uh, I don't know episode when I'm gonna four hundred and thirty-seven. I don't know when I'm gonna post ten, but I mean, it probably be pretty soon. All right, that's been the Unstable Cape and uh, Trooper. Uh, see you guys later. Farewell.